an artist because I want to, no matter what, I always want to see what's just beyond my vision. And I always believe that there is something just beyond my vision. I truly believe that I'm being informed by things that are not clearly visible to me, that I'm being communicated with. I'm searching for the truth. You know, whatever the truth is, you know, I'm searching for the truth. I like, you know, I'm searching for an honest man, you know. And, um, and, and, but first, I have to find the truth in myself, even if it seems um, disappointing. And, um, and I don't like to disappoint myself. So I then have to reveal whatever that truth is and then come to grips with it. And also you realize you're not perfect and it's part of what it is. It's really interesting. I never think that I'm not having creativity. I don't ever think, oh, now I'm having like my regular life and then, okay, here I go, I'm having creativity. It's my, my belief that it's just a way of approaching life and a way of seeing the world. And when I wake up in the morning, I think I'm thinking about what, what exciting discoveries I'm gonna make. And I don't have one day that I never think that I'm gonna discover something I don't know that I haven't seen before. And I just know it's gonna happen. culture and my upbringing has like everything to do with my work. Um, everything, you know, I might not have said that maybe 30 years ago, but I will say it now because at a certain point, you know, certain things just fall away, you know, whether it's caring deeply how other people see me or wondering whether or not there's something I can do to have people see me in a certain kind of way. I actually don't think there's anything I can do about it how people see me. I always say, you know, life is what happens when you get past the plan. You know, the plan is what you do in, while you're waiting or, or you're kind of putting things together. And, and I think the plan is like anything else. I might plan out an image, I might plan out something I'm doing, and then in the, in the middle of it, I see where I'm really supposed to be going. And if I'm smart, I'll go where the artwork takes me. If I'm if I get scared or I, or I give in to fear, I'll hold on to that sketch. And it usually means that the work isn't as alive as it might have been if I just had let myself go and just follow you know, what the work is telling me then. And um, I hope that I've done that in my life. What I'm working on right now and how I've been approaching my art in the last, say, couple of years, because I've been really busy on some other projects, I wanted to do something that would kind of um, knock me off balance. I tend to, uh, especially when I've used things like egg tempera, get very tight and really, really plan everything out and then apply you know, the color to the space. But I wanted to do something to really interrupt that for myself. And so I decided I'd start working on these linoleum prints or block prints. What I do when I pick a medium, it's all about how best to approach the subject. I figure that if I am trying to tell a story and it's a very simple story, I just want to interrupt that. So I gave myself a tool and I gave myself a block and I said, you know what? You have to really think simply here. For me, the, the reason that I really enjoy doing 
work that's going to be, where people in the public are going to interact with it is because it gives me a way to have a conversation with people that I personally will, might not ever have talked to. And my work, just in general, what I think about my work is that it's, it's just these little narratives, these little narratives, or these little stories that I sort of embed here and there. And so to have like, you know, studio art that goes in a gallery or goes in a um, museum, that's lovely and to go in someone's home. But to have a piece of work outside where someone can walk up on it and kind of wonder about it and have it be communicating with people, that is just, it's a sublime kind of feeling. My work, for me, the way I think about my work, my work is about, just like me, it's about communicating. And it's about interacting. It's about getting close to people. It's about talking to them, saying, hey, we're here together. Um, you know, I want to tell you something. You want to tell me something. That's all I care about. And um, some artwork talks to other artwork. Some artwork challenges other artwork. I just want to interact, and that's what I do. Seattle's public art collection includes over 400 permanent installations. See more of them at seattle.gov arts.